Greetings, welcome to the Metal Book Tavern. I keep seeing these uh, tier lists uh, everywhere and I thought I'd make a tier list of my own, because why not? At first I didn't know what my tier list should be about, then I randomly decided to make a tier list of all the books that were mentioned in Blind Guardian songs. I think it's a great idea, because no one else has done it. I don't know anyone else who is willing to do this. Albums tier list, songs tier list, maybe, but not the book tier list. In this video I am going to go through all the books, starting with Battalions of Fear and ending with The God Machine, and I am going to rank them all. I haven't read all the books, of course, and some of them I haven't heard about until I decided to make this video. But I also have a tier list of interest, whether I want to read these or not. Anyway, let's get started. Alright, so here's the tier list. It starts with pure gold, then comes awesome, then good, okay. Eh, uh, I really don't know what book I would put here, but we'll see. Maybe this one shall be empty. Next comes haven't read it. It's just a statement, just a matter of fact. Next comes haven't read it and I'm willing to. It means that I want to read these books or at least I wouldn't mind to. Next comes haven't read it and I'm not planning to. And then there's the maybe category. Maybe I will read, maybe I'll not. I don't know. And then comes the last one, didn't finish. Okay, so so at the first we have do the Android Dream of Electric Ship. It's the book that eventually became the Blade Runner. I remember watching the film. I liked it, even though it was very slow. I didn't know it was a, a book adaptation. And especially I didn't know that it had a different title. To be honest, I think it's very good that uh, the title was changed. Because uh, the original title seems to be kinda weird, maybe. I don't know, maybe it makes sense in the context of the book, but the Blade Runner simply sounds better. I'd put that in the maybe I'll read this. Maybe. Next we have the Merman's Children. I, I haven't read this and maybe I'll read this, I don't know. But I absolutely love Theatre of Pain, the song that is influenced by this book, and I had it on repeat recently. I absolutely love the guitars in that one. Okay, next we have The Hobbit. That's a, a top tier, pure gold. I absolutely love it. I remember when I found the book back in 2008, when I was getting interested in Lord of the Rings. I didn't have too many books around, but I found The Hobbit and I was really, really happy. And I reread that one constantly. Riddles in the Dark is the best chapter. I absolutely love the riddles between Bilbo and Gollum. Yes, pure gold. I love it. Okay, this next we have The Dark Tower. The Dark Tower I didn't finish. I read the first five books in the Dark Tower series and I stopped on the sixth one. I don't think I'm going to continue this series. And to be honest, I do find these books kinda overrated. Not saying they're bad or anything, they're quite good, but I think that both the fans of the books and Stephen King himself, they rate these books too high. I don't know, maybe I didn't get them enough, maybe I didn't see something, or maybe the expectations were high but I didn't finish the series and I'm not planning to. But maybe if I come across new editions of these books I will. Okay, so next we have the Corum Chronicles. I I haven't read the Corum Chronicles and I'll put it in the maybe category. My first introduction to Michael Moorcock was Gloriana or the Unfulfilled Queen and I didn't like it. So this Gloriana was the very first book that I read because of Blind Guardian, or to be exact, the very the Michael Moorcock is the first author 
I read because of them. Yes, I know that Gloriana wasn't in Blind Guardian songs, and that's quite good because uh, Gloriana isn't that great. I don't like it. I hate it. Also, fun fact about Gloriana. At the end of my edition, I found there is written, there is an afterword uh, from Michael Moorcock himself, and it was, and he said that he participated in making a rock album based on Gloriana. Some of the lyrics to the songs were translated into Russian and published in my edition. I don't have that book anymore. I gave it away. Okay, next we have the Wizard of Oz. Okay, I. I own the book called The Land of Oz, and I also had an old edition of Wizard of Oz, and I gave it away. And I, I'm, I am considering buying the new edition. So okay, now let's put this in. Haven't read it, and I'm willing to read it. I can't say that I really want. I can't say that I want to read this book so much, but I have seen it in the shop and I'm considering buying it. So I didn't put The Wizard of Oz in the maybe category because I'm more likely to read it than the other way around. Okay, so next comes Peter Pan. Haven't read this one. I, but I am familiar with Peter Pan in many different adaptations. The Disney one. And also remember the film Finding Neverland. I think that was the film that inspired one of the songs. I think it was Fly. And, uh, but above all, I remember the Once Upon a Time version of Peter Pan when he's basically the Joffrey. Let's call him that way. I hated this guy even more than Joffrey. I didn't even hate the Geoffrey that much as Peter Pan in Once Upon a Time, but the actor is great. So I will put this in the maybe category. So many maybes, and that's uh, the okay. Never mind. Okay, so next comes Alice in Wonderland. I read that one, and I like say it's good, good. To be honest, I read Alice in Wonderland long ago, and I don't remember much, but I would like to read it again. Next comes The Once and Future King. Yes, I'm willing to read that one. Haven't read it. There are many interpretations of King Arthur and Merlin and so on. To me, the most iconic interpretation of the Arthurian legends is the BBC show Merlin. I absolutely love that show. When I, rem I remember when I finished watching that show back in 2018, I was willing to get anything King Arthur related. I'd love to get myself the Once and Future King. Oh, there is also another cover of that book, but I didn't like it. I prefer this one. Okay, so Narnia. Okay, so this one. I put in the... I am torn at the moment. I want to put Narnia either in awesome or in pure gold. I recently finished reading all seven Narnia books. I got myself a full volume and I loved it. It was absolutely amazing, stellar. I don't know where I put it. I, it's either pure gold or awesome. Oh, let me think about it. Um, let, let it be let it be pure gold. Narnia books I will defend because they're so good and they're so underrated. Okay, next comes Lord of the Rings. Okay, I am reading the two towers right now. This is going to anger a lot of fans. But I have to put it in the awesome category. Yeah, I know, shocking. It's I didn't put it in the pure gold. But hey, this is my tier list. It's highly subjective. Okay, so next we have the Arthurian legends in general. Okay, so in this case, the Arthurian legends are various, by various authors, and I want to come across different in interpretations, just like the Once and Future King. I'll put this in the haven't read it and I'm willing to. Oh, by the way, speaking of various Arthurian interpretations. I, I recently got myself Fall of Arthur by J.R. Tolkien. The combination of Arthurian legends and Tolkien is great in my book. 
And I had my eye on this book for a long time and finally I have it. Tolkien's books are a must-have for me and I'm trying to collect them. I really want to get uh, Nature of Middle-earth and The Fall of Numenor and the English version of The Silmarillion. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that all the books I want to get in the future are in English, of course. I want no translations. Okay, so we have the next The Never-Ending Story, Pure Gold. Pure Gold! This is one of the best books I read in 2022. At the time, I didn't know that, there were, that one of the songs was inspired by this book or even mentioned, but I did feel the connection between the book and the, the Blind Guardian songs, yes. Uh, to be honest, I do want to continue reading Mikhail Ender's novels. I saw Momo and I'd like to get my hands on that book. To be honest, I haven't heard about this book until I started making this tier list. Okay, it's The Silmarillion. Oh, that's a tough one. But you know what? I'm going to put this in the pure gold section. You know why? I suffered while reading The Silmarillion. Suffered a lot. But at the same time, I put it in pure gold because it did change my life and I do think a lot about that book. I'd love to read it again, since January is coming. For me, The Silmarillion is a January read. There is a special feeling I catch when I read this book in January. So this is Das Hilderbrand's lead. Um, okay, I haven't read it. Simply it's just a st statement of fact. I haven't read the Hilden of... I, I won't pronounce this. I won't. The Oresteia. Okay, so the Oresteia, I haven't read it. Tristan and Isolde. I haven't read this. So I won't say much. So next comes uh, those... Oh, how to pronounce this? So spoke Zarathustra by Friedrich Nietzsche and uh, I read that one and I don't know where to put this. I really don't... I think uh, I should put this in... How where do I put this? Maybe I'll put this in the good section. I do recommend reading that book, even if you come to disagree with that book. You shouldn't be afraid of books you disagree with. Yes, I dare to put Friedrich Nietzsche in the good section. Okay, so the next comes the Iliad and I haven't read it. I own the copy and I'm going to read it one day. I don't find myself ready for that book yet. Oh, and by the way, I selected the Penguin Classics cover because I love Penguin Classics. And I own now two books in the, Penguin, in the Penguin Classics edition. A Wild Ride Through the Night. Oh, I really want to read this. I'm willing to read that one. I searched for this book. And I encountered another book by Walter Moyers, and that's uh, 13 and a Half Lives of Captain Bluebeard. It was awesome. Stephen King's It, I didn't finish. I watched the adaptations of the It, both the Tim Curry adaptation and the Bill Skarsgård adaptation. I think that's how you pronounce his last name. But I have only seen the first film, I haven't seen the second one. I... I have warm feelings towards the Tim Curry version. It was weird, funny, and it had a memorable soundtrack. The book, however, I've, 1000 pages was too much for me. And I was afraid of books with 1000 pages, but then the Stormlight Archive came along. I will deal with Stormlight Archive later. Okay, so next comes Otherland. Yes, I want to read that book. Yes, I'd love to have it. So, I remember I found my, an online version, began reading it, and then I quit. And I want to start again. I'd like to own the copy of Other Land. There are four books in the series, and I'd love to read them. Why did all the books that I haven't read or didn't finish come first? And a few of those that I did read. Okay, so next one is the Odyssey, and I haven't read it. So I won't say much. 
Okay, so this is the Volsunga Saga. Haven't read it. Haven't read that one. The Innkeeper's Song. Haven't read it. Okay, so now finally comes the books that I read. Wheel of Time series. Pure gold. I love Wheel of Time. So I wasn't a huge fan of the first book, Eye of the World, when I first read it, because uh, now I realize that it's pure gold. I absolutely love this series. It's detailed, very interesting world building and character dynamic. And I, this year I read The Great Hunt and uh, The Dragon Reborn, and I love them. Both are 10 out of 10 reads, and they are among the best books I read this year. Okay, so The Tenure of Kings and the Magistrates. Haven't read it, and I'm willing to. I wanted to read uh, The Tenure of Kings and the Magistrates back when I first heard about it, because I like the annotation. But unfortunately, I didn't find the Russian version, and the English version would have been too hard for me to read. But luckily, finally, I got myself this book. This is... Aeropagitica and Other Writings by John Milton. And this is Tenure of the Kings and the Magistrates. He who destroys a good book kills reason itself. No, okay, so here comes Paradise Lost by the same author, and I'll rank it uh, awesome. I read that one this year, and uh, it was very hard for me because there are a lot of old English words in that poem, and uh, my head was aching, and I think I need uh, another read, but I loved it all the same. You know what? I didn't need to understand uh, Paradise Lost that much to appreciate it. Sure, I understood what happens, but I didn't understand all the details because of the language barrier. Maybe I should have read the Russian version first, but it doesn't matter anymore. I'm going to read Paradise Lost again. Definitely. Okay, so A Song of Ice and Fire by George R. R. Martin. Pure gold. I love it very much. The A Song of Ice and Fire is literally the reason I'm doing this tier list, because uh, A Song of Ice and Fire is how I discovered Blind Guardian. I was obsessed with these books. I was obsessed with the world that George R. R. Martin created. And uh, I found out that one of my favorite characters had a song about him. And, I've, and I had heard the name of the band before, so I gave it a listen, and the rest is history. Okay, so next comes the, the Dark Lands. Haven't read it. Maybe I'll read this. Okay, next comes The Crucible. Yes, I'm willing to read that one. I saw it in the store, and I'm interested in buying that one. The Holy Bible uh, didn't finish. I remember reading the children's version of the Holy Bible, but I bet that doesn't count, right? Anyway, I put this in the didn't finish category. Okay, so the name of the wind. So, pure gold. Name of the wind is one of the best books I ever read. I love it so much. I love the magic. I love the autumn atmosphere. I love the university stuff. And above all, I love the music. I love that this book is very musical. You can, not only you can feel the music, but it also works for the plot. Okay, so American Gods, I'll put this in the good category. I had the chance to buy the English version of American Gods, and I considered it given that it was around the time the band released the Secrets of American Gods uh, single, but someone bought it before I did. Okay, so The Witcher, I'll put this in the good section. I know that in the Western countries, uh, Blood of the Elves is considered the first one, but in Russian, The Last Wish is the first one. And technically that's correct, because Sapkowski published The Last Wish first. And to be honest, I recommend uh, starting with The Last Wish, if you are trying to get into The Witcher. Starting with The Blood of the Elves, it's a global storyline, 
It's, uh, I mean, that uh, there is one storyline, the intrigues, the war, and so on. But the first two books are a collection of short stories. There, there is just Geralt hunting monsters and dealing with other stuff. And that's why I appreciate the first two books now. Blood of the Elves is still my favorite, though. Oh, the Ice Maiden. I made an entire vlog where I'm reading Hans Christian Andersen books, short stories, pardon me. And the Ice Maiden shocked me in many ways. I have definitely to put this in the awesome category. Oh, look over here, the Stormlight Archive. I have to put this in the awesome category. I recently finished reading Rhythm of War. In the future I'm going to talk about Rhythm of War, why it's one of the best books of 2022. But And I can tell you that it gave me some strong impressions. Okay, so next, Eternal Champion by Michael Moorcock. Maybe I'll read this. After all, I still have a bitter taste after meeting, after reading uh, Gloriana. Okay, Dune. Dune, the first one, I have to put this in the awesome category. So, uh, the first book I loved when I read it last year, but uh, Dune Messiah, I didn't uh, like that much. I hope the next books are better. The Talisman by Stephen King and Peter Straub. I'd love to read that one. Okay, so The Floating Dragon. Haven't read that one. Stephen King, Tommy Knockers. Maybe I'll read this. After all, it's Stephen King. And I love myself a good Stephen King novel. And finally, the last book. It's Dragonlance. Oh, I haven't read that one. Where do I put it? I'm not willing to read that one. Not planning to. Maybe I'll read this. Okay, so here's the theorist. Here we have three empty sections. Haven't read it and I'm not planning to. It's empty. It's turned out to be empty. Eh is empty. Okay is empty. Tell me a little consider this. Maybe I definitely should put Lord of the Rings in the pure gold category. I'm thinking about it. You know what, let's put it in the pure gold category, because uh, the ring is gold. <laughs> Wait, I decided to change my mind on, on a few of these. Uh, allow me. Okay, so finally the tier list is ready. We have two empty sections. So, didn't finish. The Dark Tower, It, The Holy Bible. Maybe I'll read it. Uh, the Blade Runner book. The next is The Quorum Chronicles, Peter Pan, uh, The Eternal Champion, and Tommy Knockers. Haven't read it, and I'm not planning to. The Merman's Children, uh, Dragonlance, and The Darklands. I actually tried reading The Dark Lands. I found it on Kindle. I have the free version of Kindle. Uh, I wish there was the Russian version, because the English version felt like it was Google translated. Pardon me, if I am going to have such an horrible translation, I'd like to have it in Russian than in English. Haven't read it and I'm willing to. The Wizard of Oz, The Once and Future King, Arthurian Legends, the Iliad, A Wild Ride Through the Night, Otherland, The Tenure of Kings and Magistrates, The Crucible, and The Talisman. Haven't read it, just simply statement of fact and nothing else. The Sunset Warrior, The Song of Hildebrand, okay, do not force me to pronounce this. This, uh, oh, I'm not going to pronounce this one either. Christian and Isolde. The, what's this one? I forgot. Keep forgetting that one. The Odyssey. The Odyssey. This one. Innkeeper Song and uh, whatever this one. 
was the floating dragon haven't read this these two sections are empty and finally we reached all the best ones good awesome and pure gold so we have good Alice in Wonderland so Spock Zarathustra American Gods and the Witcher series awesome uh, Paradise Lost the Ice Maiden the Stormlight Archive and Dune no, the Stormlight Archive is pure gold. And now pure gold. The Hobbit, Narnia, Never Ending Story, The Silmarillion, Wheel of Time, A Song of Ice and Fire, Name of the Wind, Lord of the Rings, and The Stormlight Archive. I also want to mention one thing, is that uh, I have a stronger connection to their later albums, not only because of the music, instrumentals or vocals, but because I have a stronger connection to the source material of the songs. I love The Name of the Wind, I love uh, The Stormlight Archive, I love uh, A Song of Ice and Fire. So some of these uh, were from the old albums like Narnia and The Neverending Story and of course Lord of the Rings and The Silmarillion and blah 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 but I still love the later ones more because the earlier albums are full of books that I haven't read. Alright so this is the tier list. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments. See you next time. Goodbye.